Hello, welcome back. Well, this bit of uh, footage is in response to a question I got. How do you go about setting up a hide in a new wood? Well, what I do, I, I make sure the path in to the hide, the last 30 yards is clear of obstructions and twigs. And then after that, back to the entry point in the wood, I just clear a space every 10 yards. It makes it easier to see it on, under a red head torch and you can get your way in nice and safely without disturbing anything. That feeder is 26 yards away and this is some clips from my trail camera and you have to also remember that squirrels wouldn't hurt anything, they're lovely fluffy things. That's what people keep telling me. So these are obviously very aggressive squirrels, uh, not very nice uh, to other animals. Look at that, launches itself at it and once again. So please remember they are fluffy things and they wouldn't hurt anybody. Right. So this morning, that was 10 to 7, I just put a little target there just to check a zero. Obviously it's still pitch black there. And the first visitor, this is actually the second visitor, the first visitor comes at 7.38. And I did get my squirrels mixed up, so this is number two. And the flash there was from my trail camera, which is about 10 feet over to the right hand side. So they're doing exactly what they've been doing on the footage that I've reviewed, come in early before it's light. So this was the, this was number one, this was 7.38 this morning. Again, it is, it is pitch black in this wood. I couldn't see these squirrels uh, with the naked eye. I was picking them up with a thermal. And then luckily the sight mark wraith was uh, good enough in black and white to uh, do the business. There's no illumination on. If you see any lights flashing, it's from my trail camera, which is over to the right hand side. So I will apologise, there's some parts of this film which it's a little bit wobbly and the reason for that is I'm holding a rifle in the left hand but I'm constantly looking up in the trees with my right hand with the, the spotter because they will come in, in normally in groups of three so I was trying to keep a rifle still, you'll get a nice flash there from the camera in a minute, let me go. Uh, he obviously takes a nut and goes off to bury that and I, I was watching him but also keeping an eye on the other ones that are in the tree above me. So that's 7.44, so it's not long, I think it's 7.50 and he's back um, for a bit more breakfast. I think it was his last meal of the day actually. Another flash again from the camera, smile for the camera. That was a hell of a jump he did as well. This one was mooching around over to the right hand side. He'd come down from the tree. And I think all week I've been watching him taking nuts from the feeder and, and hiding them and stashing them away. So as well as going to the feeder, they were still going back and raiding their storage points that they'd been doing all week. Should have just done hidden it behind that tree a bit more.
Anybody else got a sight mark wraith and they've noticed that the crosshairs, the horizontal changes colour? Um, only it's it's always yellow or red, whatever colour you got in the eyepiece, but they seem to that's changed that's gone to white now, look, and the vertical's yellow. Right, so I've got fellas up in the top of the tree, so it, it, I think this is one of the bits where it gets a bit wobbly now, so once again I do apologise, but it's, I'm trying to see what else is coming around, rather than picking on one, and there might be one that comes down to the feeder before here. So this was the first bit of sort of chasing that I'd seen today. Um, Whereas on a lot of the trail camera footage, they were going sort of berserk up and down, chasing each other. That made me think it was either a male and a female, or two males sort of fighting for territory. But the interesting thing about today's shoot, every squirrel I shot was a female. whispering there there's one up, one up above him or her sorry um, so I was sort of trying to keep an eye on what else is if one was going to come down before this one goes to the feeder could almost do with a spotter sat in the hide with me There was a lack of pheasants today there's normally about six pheasants during the day that I've seen all grouped together which was prompting the squirrels to sort of get a bit angry and chase him off but there was only one cock pheasant that turned up this morning but I think that's because there was a, a shoot going on nearby right, so he's gone up hiding behind along the, on the black side of the tree so I can't see where he's gone and he breaks cover, or she breaks cover, and hides just behind this branch. But on zooming in, I think I can probably get a, get a shot on that, but um, that knuckle on that branch just takes a deflection. Doesn't bother the squirrel, she's quite happy chewing away. In fact, she'll finish that nut and come down and get another one now. She should have stayed up in the tree. This was a few minutes earlier, obviously I'm still on black and white. I'm leaving him because he's no threat to the birds in the garden, so he can have his feed. I've got a squirrel up to the left hand side, so that's another reason not to disturb him. I forgot to put the recorder on. He's just about a foot away from one of the dead ones lying on the floor. I don't know, he'd snuck in from somewhere and he was sniffing around it, so it then looks like I saw the movement with my the thermal that I didn't realise he was there. It took a while then to find him on the scope. And all that time I forgot to put the recorder on anyway, so uh, there he is down there. Come from the 
Brilliant double back somersault there, I think. That little chap is 65 yards away, right at the back of the wood. And hopefully he's going to come, he needs to come forwards and to the left. If he goes straight in that direction now, he'll eventually get to my tree. I've seen three more in the, in the woods to the far left of my feeder, so they're still around. That's so tempting that far, but I'm not going to even risk it. No, it's not worth it. I'll wait till he comes. For. Interesting thing, all the squirrels I've shot have all been females so far. There's one there, there's a group of three over in these bushes. Now at the moment they're about 60 yards away. But on my trail camera I've noticed that they, some of them do tend to come from that far left side of the wood, which is where they are now. I would have thought the pheasant being at the feeder might have provoked them to come across and start the bullying tactics, but there's a little bit moving around over there. But so they're a long way off at the moment. They just seem to be quite happy playing around in the trees. So hopefully they'll get hungry in a little while and uh, come have something to eat at my expense. Well, again, there's another couple of clips from my trail camera, and I certainly didn't see activity like this this morning. So I can only assume that there's still a lot more in this wood to. Uh, take care of so I shall be back uh, probably between Christmas and the new year and uh, I'll keep the feeder topped up and keep checking my camera so uh, that's all for now please remember to like and subscribe and click the notification bells and I wish you all a very happy Christmas and a prosperous new year and look forward to seeing you again soon take care cheerio